For the RF and mixer alignment, you feed your RF sweep generator right into the antenna terminals and you hook your scope up to the special test terminal they supply via a 10K resistor. And you go through these frequencies for each of the channel. So for example, I've got this on channel 6, which is centered around 85 or so megahertz. So I've got that on my sweep generator here. I'm sweeping 85 to 90 megahertz. Now it's supposed to look like this, a double hump pattern with a peak around the video carrier and the sound carrier, and mine looks nothing like that. There are three trimmers located around the front. I believe the trimmer capacitor. There's one here, there's one behind the shield, and there's one behind this cable. So I'm going to see if I can tweak those and get it to look more like this pattern. And you can see when you flip through the channels, like this is channel 5, lower frequency, so I have to drop this down, and then I get that to come on the screen. And channel 4 go lower again and it comes on the screen. But they've all got that same type of response where it's lumped more to the right than the left whereas it should be a nice pattern like that. So I'll see what I can do. I'm having a bit of trouble with the RF and mixer alignment. I just can't quite get this shape. Should be a hump for the sound carrier and for the video carrier. Uh, for example, right now I've got it tuned to channel 4, there should be one hump at 67.25 and the other at 71.75. Well, after some fiddling, here's what I've got. I've got one hump around 72, and the other one should be over here, so this should be way up higher. When I first started out, it was more like... I put the trimmers back to about where they were before I started making any changes, and this is what I had. Where the one hump is uh, around here, 67.25, but over here at 72 is like nothing. And if, if you recall in my earlier videos on this set, I was having trouble getting decent sound when I used my digital converter box set to channel 4. Well, this is the video carrier. And the sound carrier is over here, which is like next to nothing, so it's probably why I had uh, virtually no sound. So, what I'm going to try doing is adjust it like I had a moment ago where I got a big peak here and hook up that converter box. And what I would expect to have is pretty good sound, but not so hot picture. Uh, and then, I'm going to start poking around, I think, under the tuner here. And check some of the uh, component values. They're kind of hidden up in there, but they're... You can take this drum out and check some of the resistors and whatnot. Uh, I'm also going to try replacing the tubes. I guess I'll do that first because that's the easiest thing to do. Even though I tested these and I put uh, new old stock tubes in there, uh, it, it could have an effect. In fact, I think the service manual says if you replace these tubes, especially the 6J6, you actually need to realign the tuner because this is a mixer oscillator tube. Well, what do you know? Swapping out the 6J6 tube really did the trick. Got my one peak right around 71.75 and the other one around 67.25, just like it's supposed to be. I'm really glad, too, because I was not looking forward to having to pop open this tuner and poke around inside. I'm going to check a few other channels, and uh, well, I think I will hook this up to a, an actual video source, and let's see how some uh, real programming looks. So here we go, it's some actual programming, a Sitting Ducks cartoon. Um, one thing I noticed right away about how sharp this picture is, is how distinct the logo is down here. Cubo Night Owl, you can really read it, whereas before it was kind of blurry. 
And uh, in here I have plenty of plenty of valet. And the picture looks really, really good. So this, this was a successful alignment. So, uh, all that's left now is for me to get a test pattern generator on and center the picture and adjust the vertical and horizontal linearity. It's pretty good the way it is, but uh, I can tell it's things are off a little bit. The uh, picture's up a little bit too high. I think it needs to move over to the right a little bit. And I think the vertical linearity's off just a tad.